Oh my gosh, you guys, we bought a house. <laughs> try to say what I want to say without being too rambly um, so we bought a house we actually just closed yesterday it's a, it's a big studio wow. pretty big you think to film this um, I didn't want to film this before I really haven't posted much on social media just because I didn't want to like jinx us it has been a process so if you have watched my last like house hunting vlog video then you know that we were actually already under contract with the previous home that didn't work out so I'm just I'm so thankful that this home we loved it even more and everything went smooth and uh, we have the keys. Well, they were behind me, but I think I put them on the counter. We like literally have the keys now. So um, I am just so excited. As you can see, there are like boxes behind me and there's a mess and um, yeah, so <laughs> real life going on back here. But we are actually not going to be moving in right away. Um, our lease doesn't end here until August, so we have about three weeks before we are actually going to be living in the house, but that's okay because we want to do some projects or some things um, that just need to be done and, th and adjustments that we just want to make personally. And um, we need to get appliances, which we're actually going to be shopping for um, later today. So I'm so excited about that. But they won't be delivered for a couple of weeks, um, which we already found out via um, online. So anyways, um, yeah, so there's just a couple things that we've got to do before we can move in. And that's totally fine. It's going to be like a slow, organized move. <laughs> Hopefully, um, little things here and there. Like every time I'm off in the next three weeks, we will do something. So like I'm off this weekend and we're gonna move our garage unit um, from our apartment complex to our garage in our new home. So just things like that until we like officially move. Um, things that we don't need here, like decor and things in the bookcase back there, um, I can pack away and take over there. Um, yeah, so we're just, like I said, so excited. So really quickly, um, I just want to kind of give a little recap. We put an offer on this home. This is actually the fifth offer that we put on a home and we were, it was accepted. We had quite a bit of back and forth. Um, if you know anything about the housing market right now, um, it is crazy competitive to purchase a home and uh, seller is a seller's market but like the sellers are crazy and what they're pricing the homes it, it actually they're actually pricing them over market value because of the competitiveness and the competition and that kind of thing um so our house was actually it was under budget um our budget was 250 and that's actually a pretty hefty budget for south texas um, but in this market though, we just we were like, you know what, no, because a $250,000 house will actually be like a $225,000 house, like what it's really worth. Um, so we didn't want to go to our max. We actually kind of came down and decided that our max was going to be $225,000. Um, but we wanted a three bedroom, two bath. It needed to have an open floor plan. It needed to be pretty much updated like we didn't want a huge fixer upper there are some things we're gonna have to do in this house and that's like that's fine but we didn't want a major like flip like our first home where we had to renovate every single room so um oh and we wanted a garage we needed a garage for my projects and just you know storage and a backyard for our pups so those are kind of like our major major must-haves and so we looked at probably like 30 homes over the course of about three weeks and we put in five offers and we were under contract twice the second time being the home that we actually purchased so yeah crazy um crazy competitiveness like just trying to buy a home I'm just 
so thankful that we actually um, got this one. Uh, but anyways, going back to the um, sellers and the pricing the homes, they actually priced this home at $214.9, which was over market value. So when the appraiser came um, to do the appraisal, it didn't match what the sellers wanted. So we were like, okay, we're gonna walk away and let's not come down because we don't wanna have to pay. We were already gonna have to pay, obviously our down payment and then of course, um, all the closing costs because it is a seller's market right now. Like they're not gonna pay for anything. So okay, fine. <laughs> um, but we weren't gonna pay more than what the home was worth. So we literally told them, okay, if you're not gonna come down on the cost or the sale price of the home, then we're gonna have to walk away. And so luckily, luckily they came down and like I said, we've got the keys. So um, I'm going to insert like a few little sneak peeks, maybe, uh, I'll see, of the home because I want to do an official like empty house tour before we move in, before we do any changes. And that's mainly, mainly for my, my own reasons. I wanna be able to go back and look at the house when we first got it and just kind of like remember what all we did with it um, over time. So y'all, if y'all interested in that, you will see that video next week. So stay tuned. I'm actually gonna try and film it probably today if I can, if not um, this weekend, because I know they still have to turn on the electricity tomorrow. So we'll see how about, we'll see about lighting because um, the electricity won't be turned on until tomorrow. So I might, I may not be able you guys, I'm so excited. <laughs> I may not be able to get the home tour filmed today. I might have to wait till this weekend, but regardless, if you see me in this, in the next video, that is why, because I will try and film that today for you guys so I can have it up by next week. But anyways, uh, I don't wanna continue rambling because I can, because I'm so excited and I just can't believe that we bought a home again. So this is our second house and we finally get to get out of our one bedroom, 680 square foot apartment that we're only supposed to be in for nine months and it turned into almost two years. Yeah. So anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. I cannot wait to share this journey with you of home ownership and moving in. And I just have so many ideas, so much um, content for you guys. So if you were interested in this, um, kind of content, home decor, lifestyle, um, DIY, then please, please, please consider subscribing and I will see you all in my next video. Bye. <laughs> oh my goodness. I'm so excited. Yeah, we do need to cut the grass.